Sometimes a smoke chrome lock isn't always glamorous. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of elbow grease. Getting a motor home prepared for sale, a lot of hard work gets involved into doing it. Motor home diaries, 11. Now I have checked this motor home off and it's a really good vibe. So as you can see, we've got the fixed bed at the back. So that's the type of motor home you're probably going to be looking at, a burstner um, or a chassis. You're priming up your hot water tank and you're going to be 10 litres down. When they're making these Volkswagens, um, people are not paying attention to the safety side, which needs to be done. Auto Sleeper Trooper, 1992. It's a little minty. So here we've got, we've got a chass on here. Um, and as you can see, it's got the bunk beds here at the back. And then we've got the dinette here, which will make into a double bed. And then towards the front of the cab, we have the over cab as well. Uh, for two more people. Now I have checked this motor home off and it's a really good van. Everything's working, everything's doing what it should be doing. Um, but it is a little bit grubby so I just want to get it all up looking good for when we do put it on sale. What I did yesterday I'm really pleased with is I did the bathroom. As you can see it's a combined shower and toilet and I spent all day cleaning that up yesterday and I'm really pleased about it to come up with. So what I'm working on now is to get these obs up. As you can see, they're really grubby, but it started on this side here. It's coming up really well, so a little bit more elbow grease. We'll get this looking spick and span. Questions? Let's move on to a couple of questions. You don't want to watch me um, clean the motor home, do you? So one question that I've had in is, um, I'm looking for a two-wheeled motor home, but with four belted seats. So let me show you one. So this is a Benimar 231, it's under six metres and you've got your two belt, uh, four belted seats, sorry, and it's a two berth. So let me just quickly show you this one. So as you can see, we've got the fixed bed at the back. We have the washroom at the back as well. And then you wanted your four belted seats. So then at the front of the van, what you've got then is your two front seats, belted seats, and here's your dinette at the back with your two belted seats that you're after. And you will find a lot of the Benimars and the Chassons, uh, the Continental vans, do do these type of, uh, type of styles. So that's the type of motor home you're probably going to be looking at, a Burstner um, or a Chasson. Another question I've had is when you prime up, that means um, filling the hot water tank up, will you need to refill your fresh water tank? It all depends on how much water you put in your fresh water tank. So if you filled it full, and you're priming up your hot water tank, then you're gonna be 10 liters down. So obviously you would have to replace that, but it depends how much water you use when you're away. So you really need to get to know your van and how much water you are gonna use. But it's the time of year that we should be draining down. So make sure you drain that hot water tank. So the hot water tank is the most important one you should be draining down at this time of year. So as you can see here, here's our hot water tank and then just down the side. So what I'm draining down on this hot water tank is if you can see the yellow lever, I'll just lift it up and that'll dump all the water out of the hot water tank. And then when you've drained the water heater down as well, just open up the taps just to let the air, give it some air basically. So any water that's in there, if it does freeze, it has got somewhere to go. And then I would do obviously the bathroom um, and do all the taps of the bathroom as well. Also open up your um, fresh water and wastewater tanks as well. Ooh, Auto Sleeper Trooper, 1992. It's a little minty. It's got the pop-up roof with the hard sides in. Let's have a look inside for you. Now we checked this off the other day and everything was working on it. Just show you inside. So we've got the pull-out bed and then just above we have the sink with the hobs. And it does have a little Propex heater as well to keep you warm at winter time. And we have got the fridge um, the three-way fridge with the gas, electric and leisure battery for when you're moving. And then if you notice when, we, when I came into the van, 
we do leave the fridge doors open as well to stop any smells. So this has all been checked off. Um, it's all drained down now. Like I say, we do leave the fridge door open as well. So that's another thing for you to do when you're not using the van. Just stops any smells. Ooh. So, off we go. We have a Compass Royal 2002. Um, we have got a few problems with this. We do have here, if you can see, here our pipes are hot and cold water feeds there. They were leaking um, when we were checking the van off. And we have got a few other jobs to do on this one. Ah, there you are. Now, after all my hard work, I'm really pleased how this has come out. Just look at these obs. Look how nice they are in the sink and a nice shiny tap. So I'm really pleased how that's come out. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. It really does make a difference for us. Remember the other Motorhome Diaries we did? I think it was Motorhome Diaries 10. Um, we showed you a Volkswagen um, with the gas locker. That was basically unsafe. It's been a conversion done on it. But the problem with getting when people do their own conversions. So as you can see there, you've got the gas bottle somebody's put in with the regulator. The problem you've got on these conversions is there's no drop vents. What I mean by a drop vent is if there's a gas leak there, the gas is heavier than air, so it goes down. So if we do get a leak, there should be drop vents in the floor for the gas to, to escape out of, so it doesn't circulate inside the van. And what ideally should be done, we should have a metal, it should be housed in a metal container. Um, so that's something we're gonna have to build and make and put some drop vents in. So it's not that easy when they're making these Volkswagens. Um, people are not paying attention to the safety side, which need to be done. So shall I show you now um, what we've done? So here's the Volkswagen. Here's our gas locker. So what we've done now, we've put the drop vents in, we've encased everything in. So if there was a leak now, it couldn't go anywhere else other than in this locker. And because gas is heavier than air, it's gonna drop down. We've got our well here, and then we've got our vent there for the gas to go out. And just for added, what we've done, um, we've filled all the door out to stop anything from escaping from the door as well. So that's how it should be sent out. Right, that's a quick insight in the unglamorous side of looking after motorhomes. Um, if there's anything you want to see in motorhome diaries, any questions you want to ask her, we'll try and ask them all. Now, leave me alone and let me get on with my glass cleaning.